What's going on guys? We're back again for another Terraria episode. So, if you guys haven't seen my channel update video, um, I highly recommend you go watch it. But if you do not want to go watch it, then uh, just basically I'm not going to be uploading uh, as much. I will be uploading as much as I can throughout the week, but uh, I'll definitely be uploading on the weekends. Um, so, this Terraria episode has taken a little while to come out. But... Uh, anyways, so, my plan for today's episode is to go into the Corruption, or no, the, the Crimson, sorry, uh, go into the Crimson and smash some, uh, of the orbs of the, or not the orbs, the Crimson Hearts. So, if we can do that, I'm hoping I get a gun so I can get the Arm Stealer. Alright, so this should do, so this will enough room for him uh all right so let me grab let me start out my inventory real quick and then we'll head over to the uh crimson i keep getting corruption and crimson mixed up we'll head over to the uh crimson and we will go um smash some orbs or hearts dang it i keep getting it wrong ah the zoologist arrived okay we're gonna have to make even more room dead yeah you're dead uh oh. Okay. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, no, you're not dead. You're dead. Uh oh. That wasn't good. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Man, wouldn't it be terrifying if spiders were that big, like, IRL? That would just. Ugh. I just would not want to live on this planet anymore. Wow, where are they? There's just a bunch of. Altars, there's none. There's no hearts. Um, this isn't the heart I was looking for, but there are two of them. You know what? I, I'm not even gonna complain. That's awesome. Ah, two life crystals, like, barely like 20 blocks from each other. That's pretty great. I'm just gonna check over here just to make sure there's not anything. Okay, we got some demon hearts, so we're good. Oh my god, there is another one. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna use those. Everything is trying to kill us right now. Uh, I'm just gonna heal real quick. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pick this up. We're also gonna not die. That would be good. Okay, uh life crystal. Okay. Come on, Mr. Spider. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Um, all you need to get rid of these is a hammer. Nope, okay. Yes! I got a gun! Okay, we got the Undertaker. So, that means... I also got a hundred bullets. It takes, um, three, uh, Crimson Heart Smash to summon the Brain of Cthulhu. So I think we'll do that later in today's episode. But for now, I'm just gonna smash two of them. So I can get, uh, you know, something else as well. I was, the main thing was I just wanted, um, a gun, so that way the arms dealer would spawn, but, uh, now that we got it, I mean, anything else is just a surplus. It's just a bonus, I guess. Alright, what do we get? Alright, we got the forceful, the rotted fork. Alright, um, this is a lance, right? Yeah, our, uh... Our swordfish is way better than this, so I'm not going to use that. Because it's much faster, and it does, like, a hell of a lot more damage, so... Ooh, a fairy! Oh my gosh, there's tons of loot. Yeah, are you going to leave me somewhere, Mr. Fairy? Are you going to leave me here? Because I already see this. Yeah, I think it's leading me here. Yeah, okay. It just led me here. I already saw this. Ooh, Band of Regen. Okay, well, we'll we'll debate on putting that on. I'm not sure. I mean, it's probably better than our aglet, so I might want to do that. Um, we'll see. I honestly don't know. Oh, another magic mirror. Uh, not really needed, but you know what? That's okay. Can probably sell that. Um, that's nice. Well, I think that's all we need for now. So I think I'm just gonna head back and 
see if we can't make another room for a different NPC. Um, currently got the zookeeper. What does she sell? Guide critter companionship prevents you from hurting critters. That's interesting. That actually could be nice. Squirrel hook. I already have a hook. Um, I don't need a whip. That's for summoning. Cat license used to let a cat arrive in town. Koi kite. Fox ears and fox. Okay, for now, I don't think I need to buy anything. I just want space for NPCs because we get so many. Like, we're getting a ton of them. So, this will just be temporary. I'm going to figure out um, where to put all the NPCs in the future. Maybe we'll do like a mass building episode after we've got, like, I don't know, maybe beaten the wall of flesh or something. We can start putting these um, guys in what biomes they like to be in. So, you know. And then, um, housing, question mark. Alright, housing is suitable. So, that should mean that the uh, arms dealer will spawn in and go into this house. I don't think I need the step stool for now. I'm going to put on the band of regen because it slowly regenerates life, which is pretty useful. Oh dang, this is a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. If you can hit your shots like I'm not. Oh, there we go. So the arms dealer has arrived. So that's great. So that means we can buy some stuff. Also, I'm just harvesting some of my crops so I can, I guess, herbs, whatever. Herbs. I don't. All right, let's talk to the arms dealer and see what we got. So, so I'm tempted to buy the mini shark because it's fully auto. It shreds through bullets, but it is fully auto. So it's very useful. I don't need the flintlock. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy the mini shark. All right, that costs us a lot of money. It costs 35 gold, so that's all right though. Um, we're gonna put away the blood butcher actually, cause it's honestly not that great compared to all the other stuff we have. Um, also, sorry if you saw the Windows thing pop up. I hit the Windows key on accident. So we'll favorite the mini shark, and we can put away the blood butcher. Alright, uh, and yeah, we should probably also buy some musket balls. Alright, there we go. Um, we'll just sell those, I guess, I don't know. Alright. So, we got 999, uh, musket balls, so that's good. And then, what I'm thinking is going into the crimson and setting up a um arena for uh the brain of cthulhu so i'm gonna go do that right now Alrighty, so i just trapped myself in a box for the night because it was kind of annoying and i couldn't see anything so i'm just gonna kill these guys um because they're not very fun oh i love the mini shark it's one of my favorite um pretty hard mode weapons Alright, there we go. Got all of them taken care of, so we'll just dig up our wood platform and, uh, yeah, start making the quote unquote boss arena. If you can really call it that. I mean, it doesn't really have to be that big, because Brain of Cthulhu is not that hard of a boss, so let's just head down and find uh, a heart we can smash. Well, you know what? YOLO. Okay. Not a good start. Okay, I gotta just shoot the eyes. Shoot the eyes. I don't know if I was ready for this. Oh lord, this isn't good. I'm getting cornered. Grab the heart, grab the heart. No, I can't move. He's got me stuck. He's got me stuck. This is cheating. You're cheating. Go, 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 go. Okay. Please let me heal. Uh, 
This was not smart. I shouldn't have done this. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Come on, kill them all, kill them all, come on. Heart, heart, heart. Okay, okay, I can heal. I, I healed, I healed. More hearts, more hearts. Alright, alright. Come on, we can do this. Oh, he came below me, dang it, that's cheating. There we go. Alright, we did it. Let's go. No way! We got the bone rattle. Dude, this thing is rare. I think it's like a 1 in 20 chance, but we got a baby face monster pit. Wow. That's crazy. Alright, that fight could have gone better, but I mean, we got tissue samples, so that's great. That means we can also mine up Crimtain Ore. And I believe if we go down to um, the Underworld, we'll be able to mine, um, I think it's Hellstone. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see uh, what we can craft. So now that we uh, got that, we can make more Crimtain Bars. Oh, I didn't want to fire this. Okay, we got 48. That's a lot. Okay. So now we can make armor out of this. This is great. Okay. Um... So let's see. Um So 20 so that's 45 plus 15 that's 60. I think we actually might have enough. Let's see. If we do that's great. Uh where did I put the bars? Here. Yeah, we have we have enough. Let's go. All right, we're going to we're going to make the full set of armor. That way we're a lot more protected. So, crimson helmet Crimson scale mail. Uh, where are the greaves? Wait. I don't want another crimson helmet. I have enough. Oh no! I wait. Do I not have enough tissue sample? Uh, that's probably why. Okay, then that probably means I'd have to take down the Brain of Cthulhu again, which, I mean, I could do, because I'm a lot more powerful now. I have more stuff, so... I mean, we may as well make the pickaxe, because we're going to have to fight him again anyways, so we'll do that. You served us well, Cactus Pickaxe, but it's your time to die now. And, uh, how do I equip it? It's just right quick. Alright, so... That gave us that got us up to twenty five defense, which is really great for our stage right now, currently. So yeah, I don't need the cactus helmet, that's fine. And I mean we could keep it, I guess, keep the ninja shirt, so may as well. Put uh I'll put it in here. No, nope, I don't want to talk to you. I'll Yeah, we'll just put that in here, I guess. So put that away. Um put the rotted fork away, we don't need that. Put all of this stuff away. Crimtain bar, got tissue samples. Alright, well I'd propose that I go and fight him again. That way I can get enough tissue sample and um, crimtain ore to make the full set of armor. Okay. Heck, um, I'm not ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me get to my arena. Okay. Alright. I'm noticeably taking less damage um, from his attack, so that's good. But yeah, this is really easy.
Oh yeah, that fight went so much better, man. Ooh, I got a, a Brain of Cthulhu mask. <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of dumb. Alright, you know what? I'll take that. So we got a lot more Crimtain ore, and we got enough tissue samples to, you know, do stuff. So, I'd say that's pretty successful. So we'll head back. Um, we will craft everything up. So, let's see. Um, Crimtain bars. Like so. And then we will make the Crimson Greaves. There we are. So, what is the set bonus for this? Uh, greatly increased life regen. Nice, that's actually pretty good. Alright, so goodbye cactus leggings. You served us well. Um, we'll just throw away the rest of the stuff that we don't really need. We don't need the wood platforms. Okay. I mean, this could be kind of nice. The meatball. I mean, let's see how this works. Like... Oh, so you just hold it to swing, and then it, ah, and then you just tap to throw it. That's actually pretty cool. That could, um, potentially replace the swordfish. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll just keep it, we'll keep it in here and see if it's good, because it does 31 damage. It actually is a bad, um, has a bad effect on it, it says shoddy, so... If we can get a good one on it, that probably will do a ton more. So, let's deposit some stiffs. We'll uh, just keep all this stuff on us for now. Um, so now, let's go see... Uh, we'll check the world. See where the meteorite landed. So, um, I don't see it. Oh, you know what? It might not be visibly updated. So, that's probably why. Okay, you know what? Um... Yeah, I'll cut back to when I do find it, though. Okay, guys, so, um, here's a goblin scout. So, that, I don't know if killing them spawns them, but you can definitely craft a summon with the tattered cloth. They can, like, summon a goblin army, uh, summon with it, so. Ooh. Oh, nice. Okay, we got another, um, like whatever it's called, so it shows our depth. I don't know what they're called, but it, it shows, like, stats right here, so. Oh, King Slime's fun. Alright, well, we're ready for him. We can take him down. You know what, that's, I, I don't know what else I would expect. Oh, there he is. Alright, that was pretty easy. And we got a slimy saddle, so we got our, um, our first mount of the game, of the series. So, um, I forget how I activate my mount. Is it T? B? Um, ah, it's F, okay. So, the slimy uh, saddle is very useful. You don't go that fast on it, but you can definitely jump high. And you can also double jump with it, though I don't recommend doing that with what I have. With, if you have the cod in the bottle. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. Um, But the meteorite is not on this side. So we're just going to head back, and we're going to go to the left side of our world. Oh, wow, this was a lot closer than I expected. Alright, so... We're just going- ow, that hurt. We're just gonna start tossing some bombs in. Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Okay, well, we gotta take down these guys, because they are dangerous. Um, how am I gonna do this? I truly don't know how I'm gonna mine it. You know what, I think I'm gonna figure that out in the next episode, because I think this, I've been recording for a while, and I, it's gonna be hard to edit if I record anymore, so, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Terraria, it's been fun getting back, because, I mean, I had kind of a long week this week, I had a pretty bad headache, um, for a few days, so, that wasn't that fun, um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the series so far, and I think we're starting to get more powerful. I mean, we have a full set of Crimson Gear, we have 30 defense, which is pretty good for this stage of the game. Um, 
I think like the maximum defense you can get you can get like into the hundreds. So we're we're still getting there, but um yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe if you have not, um, to stay up to date with these videos. Um and yeah, so alrighty guys, so I will see you all in the next episode. Later guys.